can drive you crazy. Yes, they held this much power impacting your mind, even in the absence of that person or a thing in front of you. And that's what my mind was doing to me. I was lying on the bed, thinking about a well-spent time talking to the guy after so long. One half of me was inhaling the goodness of Angad and the other half was craving to meet Mr. R. At 4 p.m., I sat in the hotel lobby waiting for Angad. I saw him streaming down the stairs. We went to the mall and I shoved myself toward the Western wear section. After trying out a few dresses, I got confused between one red frock dress and the other yellow gown. All this while, and God was staring at me patiently. I broke the silence and asked, Would you just stare at me like that or tell me which suits me better? This red one or this yellow one? Of course red. Red suits you more than yellow. Yes, I am thinking same. Thanks. After shopping, we went to the Ganesha Temple and other famous nearby places. It was so surreal spending time with Angad. And in those moments, I was startled by the fact that for a short time, the thought of the reunion had left my mind. But it was obvious that the strings of my desire to meet Mr. R or were still attached to that event, all fresh and new. I was entangling myself into more and more dilemmas while thinking of Mr. R. I was here to find someone whose current life status I didn't know about. Angad asked and brought me back to the real world. Hey, where are you lost? Nothing. Just a self-talk, you know. I pretended. We were walking on the pavement that led to the hotel. So tell me, what makes you happy in life? He begins the conversation. I liked these uncertain intellectual questions of his about life. My parents and the little things in life make me happy. I replied naturally. It's cute! What makes you happy in life? Same, the special one's nature and the sky full of stars above us, doesn't it feel great? He counter asked. Yes, the sky looks beautiful. I agreed. And do you know what other thing makes me happy? What? I asked curiously. Is our ice cream, which is behind you. Let's have it. Oh yeah, I will order it for you. I will have a chocolate flavor. Which one would you like? Chocolate is not for me. I'll have butterscotch. Cool. After having ice cream, we reached the hotel. We could see more than 20 people in the hotel lounge, greeting each other as we reached. And suddenly, we recognized they were ex-classmates. My gaze darted to Davina, and she waved, looking back at me. I greeted her and the other girls with hugs and big smiles. On the other side, the male team welcomed Angad with repeated howlings of his last name. I could guess he was very popular in class, but maybe I was unaware. However, I started searching for the one person who had given me the purpose of arranging this meetup. The confusion was unfathomable because of the difficulty I was having in finding him. Still, I was waiting for the final day.